right, let's get into our morning headlines now presented by Manscaped Body Wash. Get your Manscaped Body Wash today by heading over to manscaped.com. Get their ultra premium body wash that's infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling clean and fresh. AJ, what is that? Was it what is it that we say? So fresh and so clean, clean. Is that how it goes? Is that how fresh we can say it? Clean, no? clean. There hey. it is. Get, oh, get your out, manscaped. Yeah. Get your Manscaped body wash today and keep yourself feeling fresh and clean. It's time for our morning headlines. And first, we get into Kareem Hunt asking for a trade from the Cleveland Browns. He wants out. And actually, the Cleveland Browns did exactly what they did to Baker Mayfield and said no. So Kareem Hunt asks for a trade. Cleveland says no. Aaron, where does Kareem Hunt land? Does anybody trade for him? What are your thoughts on this trade request? Um, I don't really understand it. I, if I'm if I'm the Cleveland Browns, I'm pretty upset, to be honest. We're talking about a guy who was out of the league. Who gave him a chance to come back in the league and play? It was the Cleveland Browns. And then they signed him to an extension, and he got paid again uh, with the Cleveland Browns. And now he's looking for more money. And again, don't get me wrong, I understand. It's 27-year-old running back. Um, he wants to get paid again. He's in the final year of his deal. But for him to... To do it now, all off season, he could have said, hey, I want a new contract to wait until now to come out and say, hey, I want a new contract and I'm not going to come to turning. That's a little bit of a uh, little bit of bad timing there. But look, Kareem Hunt's a valuable asset to that offense. We're talking about a guy that's been a leading rusher in the NFL. He was uh, the number one back on Kansas City as a rookie, then comes to Cleveland and kind of filled a role of the pass catching back behind the Nick Chubb or when Nick Chubb goes out, he's been able to kind of fill in for him. But I'll tell you what. If I'm Cleveland, I say no too. There's no Kareem Hunt has no leverage here. You have Nick Chubb on your roster and a very good backup in Dearness Johnson. But, and Kareem Hunt but, is a but, free agent next year. So if he wants but, to sit out the entire year, by all but, means. But, good luck but Aaron, to you, sir. But Aaron, what a, what about how like hurtful that is to Kareem Hunt? They did the same thing to Baker Mayfield. It was it was so hurtful. How could you deny that kind of request? What about the players, man? then tell the players to stop signing these contracts that they want to get out of two years later or a year later. Let, let's be honest. I am perfectly fine with a player who outperforms his contract coming in and saying, you know what? I, I think I deserve a little bit more money. We would all do it. Ask for a raise when you feel like you deserve a raise. Has Kareem Hunt really done that? Has he really outperformed $6 million a year at the running back position, which is about, which is way more than most backup running backs get play, get paid? I don't think he's outperformed anything. And he's but, going into the final year of his deal. He should play out his contract, go sign somewhere else if he doesn't like what they're paying him, and then move on. I, or sit the bench or sit but, down and don't play. But, I don't care. But I'm so tired of these players signing a contract and then not honoring that contract because they feel like they're worth more money when the numbers actually say they're not. But Aaron... But Aaron, hey, buddy, guy, he's been hurt. But he, in his full season of health, he actually did good. He did good. He's just been did good. Hurt. Did what? What does "did good" mean? He had nine hundred. He had nine hundred yards, right? He's something along those lines. So ten touchdowns led his team. I mean, in in touchdowns overall, I think it was eleven actually between rushing and receiving that season. His his first his first full so, year was good, and then he got hurt last. So year. so let me ask you this question. For a team that is paying you like a backup and running you like a 50-50, not quite 50-50, 60-40 starter, and you are putting up the 40% numbers of which they expect, and you're getting paid like that, why do you want to raise? What what do what do, tells you you deserve a raise? I mean, the NFL. How much money, let me ask you this question. How much money is Melvin Gordon making this year? Oh, come on. Probably, I think what was it, that. $8 million, right? <laughs> Wasn't it? Wasn't it eight? One year, eight million. I thought I could. I definitely could be wrong. This is just I'm what I'm remembering. I'm, I'm, look, I'm I, looking it up right I'll, now. I'm looking it up right now. It's taking you that long, guy. I could have found that already, buddy. Buddy, I'm half dying <laughs> over here. Back off. One year, twenty. One year, two point five million. Oh, so Melvin nice. Gordon, who almost ran for a thousand yards last year, is making two point five million, and Kareem Hunt's making six, and he's crying, and they basically play virtually the same exact role in an offense. Get out of here, dude. Go, go, uh, cry. Bye. Sit the bench. I don't want to hear it. I don't, I don't think it. that matters, though. I don't think that matters. To, what do you, what do you like, mean it doesn't matter? Hold on, hold on, hold on. To, to the players. I, I mean, like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I get that. It, yeah. But it doesn't and, make it right. But that, 
that's what it, that's what matters to Kareem Hunt, though. If they want to throw Melvin Gordon in my face, they can. But at the same time, if Melvin Gordon didn't want to fight harder for his money, that's on Melvin Gordon. It's not on Kareem Hunt. I he, the same way that these guys wait to for the market to be set so then they can ask for their pay to get a higher is the same reason that you don't wait on the guy who goes lower. Like I'm I'm sorry if if I feel I needed that much money, I'm going to ask for it. And again, with these signing of the contracts, this is what they're instructed to do by their agent. You sign the contract and you get your money because one, you can always be traded or two, you can always sign the next deal that comes along. So, I mean, I understand signing the contract when it behooves you. And then, yeah, you hope to outperform. But if you don't, yeah, you, I mean, I don't, I don't mind. Like we said, but with AJ, uh, AJ, listen, step one, you, you know, you, 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 you request realize, a trade and hope for the best. Do you realize Kareem Hunt is in the top 10 in running back salaries? Top 10. He's a backup, and he's in the top right. ten. He literally also, is he, number. He is literally the eighth highest paid running back this year. I mean, hey, well, if he if you if you argue he has no leverage, maybe this is a little bit that he can try to get in saying that I want to be paid now because he's only going to get one big contract after this. Like, there's so, only why does he deserve that, that this season? After but, an injury, and I mean, and after who knows, an injury maybe, plague season. I mean, that could be the same thing I was talking about with Debo Samuel. You know you were injury plagued. If you think if you can see that value that you had a season ago when you had a full season, you're trajecting to be on a full year this year, and you get but paid now to play it out. That you can't this is what my issue is. It's not that he's it's not that he's asking for more money, just specifically that. It's he's asking for money, but didn't have a Debo Samuel season. Yeah. His best season on Cleveland was 800 yards, and he, he had 11 touchdowns. Good job. But he's not a full-time starter. They have a guy, Nick Chubb, who is their go-to running back. So if I'm Cleveland, I'm looking at you ask me for more money, being the eighth highest paid running back on an annual per year basis. I'm like, no. Like, what, what makes you think I'm going to give you more money when I got a running back that's better than you on my roster, number one, and you're the eighth highest paid running back in the NFL already? It makes zero sense for him to do it right now, except for him – trying to protect himself. And I get it. I'm not knocking him for doing it. I'm just saying it's laughable to me to think he's that Cleveland Browns would actually cave and give it to him. Of course, they're not going to give it to him. I have, I have one little question about this though. You brought up this point earlier talking about the, the like why he's doing this at this point. What about the fact that, and I brought this up the, uh, the other day when we were talking Browns, a new system coming into the Browns offense. Obviously it's you argue that it wasn't going to be like a new system. They're just changing quarterbacks. And now they have a more competent quarterback. What if it is a new system, a little bit more of a new system in Cleveland where there's a less of a role for a Kareem hunt. Maybe he's seeing it during camp and seeing it during every, during, during these meetings where it's like, Oh shit, they're going to use me less this year. And obviously wow. on a one year deal or with one year remaining, he's like, I'm not going to be able to to show my worth at the end of the season because I'm not going to be used that much. So by the time the season ends, I'm going to be like, oh shit, I want I want to be a, a a very good a very nicely paid running back, but I'm not going to be able to get that because I'm not going to be used in this system that I have now seen through at least through camp. That hey, I'm not I might not be able to be used like I used to be. What about what about, he, what about he's that? Not in camp, right? Or is he in camp? Month? He's there. He's just sitting out. He started sitting out drills this so, week. So I don't, right. I don't, I don't, I don't really follow the not being used part. I don't know what new offense you're referring to. Uh, Deshaun well, Watson I, being just... there means them throwing the ball, which would mean actually he's probably used more, but uh, because he's the pass catching guy. Yeah. But um, I, I don't really, I don't really follow that logic. I, I would say the fact is, is Kareem Hunt just doesn't have any leverage right now. He didn't have a season last year. That said, that points to Cleveland and says, "Hey, man, you got to pay this guy." He only had seventy-eight carries last year, so not having the leverage, and then also being paid the way he's getting paid now, whether he's used this year or not, Cleveland's like, "We don't have to pay you." Because to be honest, Cleveland's probably not going to bring him back next year, anyways, because they're not going to want to pay two running backs when they're going to have to go ahead and pay Nick Chubb, Nick Chubb too. So uh, I'm not sure when Nick Chubb's contract is up, but. I don't know. If, I, I know for sure there's going to be a, a point in time where he's going to want to get paid. And I believe he already makes what 12 million a year. Um, so you're, you're paying $20 million between these guys. Like, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know. You can't pay that $20 million to a running back position. I mean, That's Zeke fair. makes 15 and people are crying about it. And he runs for a thousand yards every year. Christian McCaffrey makes 16. I'm not paying Nick Chubb and Kareem hunt $20 million of my salary cap. It's just not happening. I, 
I just want to reiterate the fact that we got to stop hating on the Cleveland Browns front office for these, these incidents here. They obviously went through the Baker Mayfield stuff where they said, no, we don't want to trade you. And then that was the whole mess. And now Kareem Hunt is doing a similar thing. And they're like, Oh, I'm not going to trade you. And the the Browns are not the bad person here. Like the Browns are not doing anything wrong. Like (laughs) they're, they're doing their, they're doing their job. Their job is to make this team better. And if Kareem Hunt doesn't want to play, that's on him. But they're going to want to keep Kareem Hunt because Kareem Hunt's a good player. So if he decides, hey, I want to play, then they still have Kareem Hunt. So we got to just stop with the narrative of, of, oh, the Cleveland Browns are just messing everything up and they're just they're just rude and they're just they're just mean people. Just get over it. Get over Dearness it. Johnson, Dearness Johnson re-signed there. They like yeah. him. I, yeah, exactly. I know they're perfectly fine because the last year when he came in and played, ran for 150 yards all over the Denver Broncos defense, which was actually – pretty good last year so yeah uh, I, I don't this cream hunt I, I just don't get it i don't get the timing he doesn't have the leverage and i don't see the Cleveland Browns caving on this either like they didn't really with baker mayfield at first until they said well let's just trade him anyways but um maybe you see kareem hunt get traded i just don't know who's gonna pay him yeah i i don't i don't know i don't know either we'll 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 come across that when it actually happens <laughs>